Yeah. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Say, have you ever thought about becoming a wild animal trainer? Sure, I have too. But you'd better not get your P's and Q's mixed up in that business, or it'll be just too bad. Well, today's story is about a wild animal trainer, and we've named it Sultan King of Beasts. Let's drop over to Ranger Headquarters. Seems like Stumpy's got us entranced with what he's saying. And I'm telling you, young whippersnappers, I ain't never seen a lion as big and as tough as this sultan they've got over there at Kittyland. Ha, we'll have to go over and see the old boy. Has he got big teeth, Stumpy? <laughs> <laughs> you just stick your arm in his cage and you'll find out how big his teeth are. <laughs> I guess you have answer you weren't expecting, Henry. <laughs> Uh, Stumpy, uh, you talked to our friend uh, Flick Martin? Nope. He was busy training some bears at the time. Say, when are we going down there, fellas? What's the matter with right now? <laughs> okay, well, that's that cool. good. You know, fellas, the kitty land is only a year old now, but it's gained statewide popularity already. It's more than just a fun ground, it has many educational features as well. Yeah, I'll say. The best I think of the wild animal acts. Then the children can see them in their cages, too. Well, <laughs> what do you say we open the door, fellas? Uh, easier to get out that way. <laughs> Funny how we're all ganged around the door waiting for somebody else to open it. Yeah, that shows we were all thinking about something else. Yeah, I know. Sultan, the big lion at Kittyland. You better knock off playing house made to them grizzlies, Paul. Sam tells me that Sultan's got a bad paw. Must have heard it when he was traveling here from the coast. Let's take a look at it. Okay, Flick. I'll lock the cage and be right there. You, uh, you always test those cage doors, don't you? Sure thing. If one of those big guys ever got out, it'd be too bad for all of us. Yeah. Well, let's go over and see Sultan. Say, what's the matter? Look jumpy. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. But you're acting strange today. Worried about Sultan's bad paw, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's it. I, I am worried about his bad paw. Hi, you flick. Paw. Go over look at Sultan's foot? Yeah. Which one is it, Sam? Oh, it's the right front one. Oh, yeah. I see it now. You notice how he favors his right front paw even though he doesn't limp. Yeah, I see it. How are you going to examine that pacing cyclone, boss? Uh, get me a rope, Sam. Sure. Sure hope it works. Say, boss, that ain't no lion cub in there. He ain't used to be handled that way. You're going to have a battle. I wouldn't do it. Okay, I'm listening. How would you do it? Well, I... I, I, I don't know. You can't go in there. We can't dope his food because he might refuse to eat food after that. Well, jumping bullfrogs flick... I should have kept my mouth shut. I don't know how you're going to do it. I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. Here comes Sam with the rope. Get ready for action. All right, get ready. Now, I'll lay the loop inside the cage on the floor. When he paces back this way, he'll step in it. Then we'll pull his right front leg through the bar so I can treat the injured paw. Here he comes. Closer. Closer. Ready now. Throw the rope inside, boss. Here goes the loop on the floor. Don't stick your arms in there too far. You'll jump on it. Oh, no lions that fast. There. Oh. Look out, Flick! Oh. Oh. Go get the dime. Oh. Oh. Sultan tore Flick's arm open. Oh. Tear my shirt up and bandage my arm. I'm going into that cage and take care of that lion's paw. I'll show him who's boss. Don't be crazy, boss. That cat will kill you. I'm insane with anger now. Do as I say. Okay. 
I don't want to lose a good boss, that's all. Sultan, you and I are going to have this out right now. That's good enough for the bandage, Sam. Get ready to open the cage door. My whip's just over there, and, and I'm going in. Okay. Whenever you're ready now. Open the cage door, Sam. Sure, Flick. I still think you're asking for it. There you are, old boy. Now get back in the corner of your cage like a good fellow, so I can look at your bad paw. He's coming at you. Not, not making a sound. Get back there. Back. Back into your corner. Get back there. Go on. Move on. Come on now. Sam. Get ready to open the cage door. I'm coming out. You said it, boss. Lock it carefully, Sam. I got it. Don't blame me for changing your mind. I would have stayed in there either. I... I didn't change my mind, Sam. Huh? What do you mean, Flick? Salt changed it for me. I didn't stay in there because... Because I'm afraid of him. My mind's made up, Mr. Franks. I'm through. I'll get some other kind of a job. But not training wild animals. Now, Flick, suppose you take a month's vacation and really rest up. And then make your decision. You've been working too hard. Five new animals in five months. A big order for training. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Franks, but I'm all washed up. I've lost my nerve. Now, now, son, let's not go off the deep end. You like working for me, don't you? <laughs> you said it. That's why I feel so badly. I've, I've never had a better boss in my life. Well... Why don't you take your vacation starting today? We'll cancel the animal stunts for a month. Then you can start again. I know you'll think differently after a good rest. A month's vacation with pay sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, it sure <laughs> does, Mr. Franks. And I appreciate your generous and considerate offer. I, I know you're trying to help me. Oh, I guess it's hard to convince a person how you feel inside. Deep down inside, Mr. Franks, I have a big fear of Sultan. A terrible fear. Yeah, where can I get another man who can handle the cats the way you do? And the bears aren't so hard to handle, but the cats are a different story. Are you going to leave me in the lurch just like this? Oh, I, I know this isn't a picnic for either of us. Well, I'll think it over, Mr. Franks. I'll, I'll give it lots of thought. Now you're talking like you should. Think about that vacation offer, too. It's still good, you know. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. Franks. I appreciate your kindness. Oh, if I could only beat off this fear. Why are you afraid of Sultan? You're not afraid of the other animals. I don't know why I'm afraid of Sultan. Unless it's because he's... he's so untamed. But so were the others when I bought him for you, Flick. How can Sultan be so different? Oh, that's a good question. How? I don't know. There's something inside Sultan's makeup that... that just makes me scared. <laughs> Flick put those lions, tigers, and panthers through their paces. I sure has good control of them. Come on. I had some trick. Come on, Mr. Old Black Beauty. Had a girl, Black Beauty. Had a girl. Up there now. Make sure you're Oh, Flick has perfect control of animals at all times. Yeah, I should say he has. There's one thing I miss. What's that, Bill? That big lion they recently acquired. Oh, yeah, Sultan. Oh, I've never seen that old boy, there but you go. he's not here, that's for sure. Well, I see oh. that the first second we come in here, but I didn't want to say anything. Uh, none of my business why Flick ain't working him with the rest of the animals. I ain't no lion tamer. I couldn't even tame polecat. Say nothing about a full-grown, oversized, genuine male African lion. Sam, Paul, take him back to their cage. I'll tell you when to send Sultan in. I want to talk to the fellows a bit anyhow. Is that Sultan roaring, Flick? Yeah, that's Sultan. He wants to get a workout. Uh, but he's a tough character to handle. Hey, uh, well, that is, we sort of noticed you didn't have him in here with the rest of the critters. Well, I, I don't want to have a cat fight, Stumpy. Sultan's too untamed and... Well, he might tangle with Roger, my big tiger. 
Then the fat would be in the fire for sure. Those cats cost too much money, time, and effort to let them destroy one another. You really love those animals, don't you? Yeah. Just as much as you fellas love the animals of the forest, so I love the animals of the jungle. Say, Bill, you're carrying a forty-five, are aren't you? Why, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, why, Flick? Look, g- give me six bullets for one of my revolvers. Uh, I'll leave one full of blanks and one loaded with live ammunition. One loaded? Oh, sure. Uh, here you are. Uh, yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. But, uh, why the real bullets? Well... I I suppose you might as well know. I'm afraid of that big cat. Really afraid of him. And, well, I want this gun loaded with real bullets in case he gets scent of my fear. You mean he can smell fear? He sure can, pal. All animals can smell the fear scent given out by human beings. This only enrages them, makes them more dangerous. How about that? Uh, Could you shoot Sultan if you really love him? Yeah, I could... If it comes to a showdown as to whether it's his life or mine... But why are you afraid of Sultan? I don't know. I really haven't been able to put my finger on it. Well, I have to give Sultan his work out. Uh, Sam, Paul, send Sultan in. Again, Mr. Jefferson. Flick's order. Oh. Man, did you see that? Sultan didn't jump, but he turned on Flick. He's ready to fight. Funny thing. Flick's not training Sultan any different from the others. That lion's just plain ordinary. Hey, here comes Flick out of the arena. Why's he got his head down on his face here? He's embarrassed. Let him be. You ready to call it a day, Flick? Yeah. Oh, am I glad that's over. And the reason I'm glad is this. Remember when I hollered for Sultan to jump and fire the pistol like I always do? Yeah. Well, by some means or other, he was able to pivot about instead of jumping, and he lashed out at my face with his paw and just grazed my cheek. Take a look. Man, look at that. Great Scott, that was hurt. Close. Uh, three gashes right across your face, from one cheek across your nose and onto the other cheek. Oh. Uh, dear, narrow escape was really narrow, wasn't it, Sonny? You wouldn't look so good without a face. <laughs> the truth is, fellows, I, I think Sultan's out to get me. Walking back to headquarters, Bill. <laughs> Not that I mind, though. I just can't get Flick Martin off my mind. Uh, I know what you mean, poor fella. But how can we help him? That's the puzzle. We agreed that he needs help, but how? This is a type of job that's different from the regular run-of-the-mill ones. Well, there's one thing for sure. He's got to get his courage back. And that's what we've got to help Flick find. See right here alongside of me if one of them black rascals gets any ideas. I can see Flick nervous. And I don't like it. <laughs> Look at the teeth in that big black fella. Boy, when I wouldn't give to be his dentist. <laughs> it takes six weeks to drill out a cavity in that tooth. <laughs> Come quick. Quick struggle with Big Panther. Let's go, Sonny. Hold 
Old Benchy's waiting to speak her piece. Come on, Stumpy. Flex and fight with the panther. You ain't just joking, sonny. Come on around on the side. There. Escape door ahead, Stumpy. You better use rifle. The panther's going to get quick. Other panthers get restless, too. Oh, pick that. That rascal's teeth out one by one with a rifle ball if he don't stop. Hey, Wolf. Get that safety door open so I can get out. Quickly. I can't hold this panther off much longer. I'll have it open real soon, Flick. We'll see how you like a couple of rifle balls and your toenails, you black scrapper, you. Okay, Flick. You come out now. Go on, you black killer. Get back there. Back up! And quit your complaining! Be thankful I didn't part your whiskers with a rifle ball! Little, slam that safety door tight. Huh, not close. You hurt bad? No. No, just skin grazes. You never got that close. Go on, all you overgrown house kitties! Get out of here and back to your cages! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry we cannot entertain you today with the wild animal act due to circumstances beyond our control. Let's go to a dressing room, Fleck. Yeah, quick. Go ahead, fellas. I'll keep the people away. Wasn't bad enough with the Black Panthers. Now it's the people who are after you. Sometimes I don't know which is the worst. Well, that does it. Does what, Fleck? My career as a wild animal trainer is over. I'm, af- I'm afraid of even the panthers now. Listen, Flick, you're not a quitter, are you? You're not going to let those cats call your bluff. What do you mean, bluff? How would you like to get into that arena with them? Flick, I've had just as close calls out on the trail. But, but I'm not a coward because I'm afraid, am I? Am I, Stumpy? You'll have to answer that question yourself, sonny. I've been in this game a long time. Don't ever forget that God made man the master of animals. Animals are to serve man, not bosom. Whether you've lost your courage or not ain't for me to say. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I really don't want to quit training animals. I love them and I enjoy working with them. And I think they're attached to me, but... Well, this crazy fear I have of Sultan has affected me so that I'm becoming afraid of all of them. I'll tell you what, uh, let's all relax down at the drugstore, huh? Maybe after a soda or something, we'll feel better, and then we can talk. Good idea, okay. let's go. Pretty good crowd in here today. Yeah, unusually large. Most of them came in after we did. You know, Henry, I've got a feeling. I drove the Black Panther back, 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 and then he looked me in the eye, and oh, well, I got plum scared. Well, that's two bit lions, Hamer. Wait a minute, Flick. So then I backed up and I backed okay. more, and soon I was running for the gate. I hollered, "Let me out! Let me out!" Stumpy. Gray Wolf, Henry, get Flick out of here. That's an order. Bill, I'm going to beat that guy's ears, and if it's the last thing I do... Oh, you're not. Come on, Flick, you hear order. I won't go. I'll fight my own battle. Let go of me. Henry, you take another arm. I take Let's this. Let go of me. Come on. You go up, Flick. Let's go up. You need help, Bill. Get going, fellas. I'll take care of this situation. Boy, I've never seen Bill so angry in all my life. His face almost purple. Hey, you with the big mouth. Step out here. I'm talking to you there in the corner. Aren't you the one who was just making fun of Flick Martin? Yeah, I was. Why? Free country, isn't it? Not for that kind of talk, it isn't. Have you ever been in a cage with wild animals? No, I haven't. Have you ever developed a fear complex for no good reason at all? No. No, I haven't. All right. All you folks, listen to me. You were just poking fun at a young man who needs help. A lot of help from all of us. You know about Sultan, the new lion over at Kittyland Park? Yeah, I've heard about him. 
Not only is Sultan a very beautiful black maned lion, but he's extremely ferocious and ornery. He's a real tough guy, almost to the point of being unconquerable. I didn't know about that. That wasn't in the newspapers. It isn't being advertised around either. So let's not make public remarks. Let's go to the arena and, and encourage Flick when he's working with his animals. Flick's not a failure. He just got a terrific problem to lick. And he can do it with your help. All right, what do you say? Are you willing? Sure. Of course, Mr. I ask you to come today, Bill, because well, somehow you give me courage and confidence. Will you just sit close to the animal arena while I put the animals through their paces? I'm going to try just one last time. Okay, Flick. It'll help you. I'll be glad to do it. Is that right? You're going to work salt in with the rest of the cats today? Yeah. I'm going to try it just once more. Sultan and I just once more. Okay, let's go. Stand by me, fellas. I need your support. We'll be there, young fella. If that Sultan fella gets tough, I'll handle him all right. Yes, sirree. How are you going to do that, Stumpy? Why, I'll grab him by the tail and swing him around and around till he gets so dizzy in the head he won't be able to tell right from left. <laughs> well, Flick's feeling better already. First time he's laughed in quite a while. All right, fellas, let's go. Between us, fellas, I don't like the way Sultan's looking at that big tiger, Raja. Yeah. Looks as if the Raja's got a chip on his shoulder, too. Look, Flick motion to us. Let's go over by Arena. Yeah. What's wrong, Flick? Sultan, get back in there and stay up there. Tell us, get the rest of them tapped out of here. Pull the shoot door open. Sultan the tiger is going to fight sure and on the foot high. Get that tire hose down. Please, hurry. I'll keep the two apart as long as I can. It's no use. I'm going to have to sell Sultan to the zoo and quit the animal training business. I just can't conquer him, that's all. That's not your problem, Flick. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you've got to conquer yourself before you can conquer Sultan. <laughs> yeah? How do I go about that? Have you ever come to the one who has all power? You mean... Yes, God. God gave Samson the power to kill a lion with his bare hands. And he kept Daniel safe in the lion's den. Yeah. Yeah, Bill. Bill, I think that's what I need most of all. I need to know God. Would you tell me how I can do it? It would give me the greatest pleasure in all the Flick, world, Flick. Flick! Hey, Flick, where are you? Ah, Flick! Excuse me, Bill. Right here, Sam. What's wrong, man? You look scared to death. He's Sultan. He's working out of his cage. He's running loose at the south end of the building. Lefty, Jordy, Steve, Mitch, get around the other side with your rifles. No shooting until I say so. Stay away from the lion. Okay, Bill. Sheriff? Get those people back away from here. We're going to try to take Sultan alive. You ready, Flick? Yeah, I'm ready. Got whip, oh, revolver. Both your revolvers loaded with blanks? What? No, of course not. No, I always carry one revolver loaded with real bullets when working with Sultan. Not this time. Here, let me have those real bullets. Put in blanks. Real bullets won't help Flick Martin conquer himself. How about it? Okay, Bill, you win. I'll take the real bullets out now, and, and I'll give them back to you. I've got some of the best riflemen in the state to cover you. Okay, Bill. Here are the real bullets. Okay. Now I'm ready. That is, I'll ever be. Just beat and rattle his cage bars when I close in for the final attack at the crucial moment. Here goes. We'll be praying for you, Sonny. And also be ready with old Betsy here, too. Sultan sees Flick coming after him. 
Look at him watching. Fellas, the battle is on. Flick versus Sutton. Quick! I'm coming up that pile of straw bales after you. And master you, you king of beasts. You see me coming, don't you? Oh, what? What a scene this is. My blood's almost turned to ice or something. Flick's climbing up the bales of straw and wore something. Something's waiting. Watching. There isn't much room on top of that stack of straw bales. Ah, Salton's beginning to crouch for attack. He's backing to edge of stack and give him more room to jump. Maybe we should shoot now before Salton kill Flick. Nobody shoots until I give the word. That's an order. This is Flick's battle. Let's be ready to rattle the cage bars when Flick gives the word. It's almost to the top now. under you for the spring to attack and kill. You're not saying much. You're planning, watching, waiting. I'll strike first. And now I'm playing your game, wild king of beasts. It's an ornery looking whip. I hope Sultan respects it. His claws into Flick's whip. Look, he snatched it right out of his hands. Sultan's gonna spring. Do you see him tense his body? He'll roar when he does. This is it, fellas. You've got my whip now, and you're gonna charge. Unless you're gonna roar and come at me. When you do, I'll be there first. Into your cage. Into your cage. Now I'm Sultan. Get in. Congratulations, Flick. You came through marvelously. Phew. One ordeal like that in a lifetime is, is enough. I'll say it is. How do you think we felt watching you two up there? What happened when he charged you? Seems like all of a sudden he, why, he seemed to stop in midair. He leaped right off the stack and headed for his cage. Well, I decided that after he got my whip, I had to act fast because I knew he was going to charge at any second. When I saw him tense and began to move slightly toward me, I charged him and beat him right on the nose with my pole. He was stunned and surprised and ran for his cage. <laughs> I would, too, if some guy beat me on the beak with a broom handle. Yes, sir, I'd get for safety and fast. <laughs> well, fellas, I, I won, and that makes me happy. I'm so exhausted. But tell me again... Just why did you take those bullets away from me? Because your biggest enemy was not Sultan. It was yourself. Bullets wouldn't help you conquer yourself. Only you and the Lord could do that. Mm-hmm. I see. And that brings us to where we were left off a half hour ago. Tell me, Bill. How can I know God as you know him? Well, boys and girls, suppose you drop around the ranger station next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill!